Well, what, what a great piece that is. It's really, uh, really a great piece to start the afternoon session off, and I can officially say good afternoon to you all. And we've got something really special for, for you now from one of the experts. You're going to see some gun dogs work. And I'm going to hand you over to the lady who knows more than I'll ever have dreamt about gun dogs, Philippa Williams. Lovely to see you all here on Gun Dog Day. It is our day, so uh, we're here to show you a little bit about how we train our dogs. We do actually train our gun dogs slightly differently from maybe the conventional gun dog training methods. Um, and any breed of dog can do what we're going to be doing with these dogs today. They don't need to be a gun dog. But we're just to introduce you to the team. So first of all, we have the youngest member of our team, which is actually the flat coat, Pogo. Nikki Charles with her young flat coat, who's just over a year of age. So yes for the flat coats. There we go. You do need a lot of patience. You can train three Labradors in the same amount of time. You can train two Golden Retrievers to one flat coat. And you do need a good sense of humor, but when you get there, it's all the better for the weight. So well done for the flat coat. Then we've got the, gold, the Labrador field trial champion, Levengill Lionheart, known as Brave. So here we go, that's Bravey Boy. And we have his half-brother, which is Levengill Isle of Arran, known as Monkey. Monkey, Monkey come. Good man, is a good boy. And then we go on to the Golden Retrievers. The Labradors, of course, are related, and the Golden Retrievers are also related. We have Field Trial Champion, Bird Screen Sweet Reward of Castlemans, known as Boise Bonkers with a head full of conkers. Boise, Boise come. Good man, he's a good boy. Good. And we have his son here, Castleman's Levi. We have, I think it's a cousin, but I do get a bit confused, Castleman's Rowan. And then we have, the last but not least, Sally's Baggins. So have we forgotten anybody? Who? Secret! Yay! Good girl. Little Cocker Spaniel, working Cocker. Right, we're going to pop our spare dogs away now. So a lot of what the dogs have to do is just sit and be calm and relaxed and be patient and wait and be very naughty. Good dog. So we just pop these ones away. Lie down. Good. Monk, lie down. All of your commands should be quiet and calm and pleasurable. Lie down. Why do we turn our commands into punishments? By shouting at our dogs as if they're deaf. Sit up, heel. All of this sort of thing. And then we wonder why the dogs don't really enjoy it. So we're trying to use all our commands really quietly, really soft, really gentle. So the dogs actually really start to enjoy everything that they're taught. Now again, something you might not conventionally think of as gun dog training, but we use toys and teddies and creatures of all sorts uh, to begin with with our puppies and our young dogs. A, because it's fun, it puts a smile on my face, let alone my dog's face. But it also takes that seriousness of the dummy out of the equation. It also takes the pressure off the dog. As soon as we put a dummy in our hand, we put a gun dog hat on, and we all get a bit serious. And then the dogs feel pressurized. So by using these teddies, that's Richard the Recyclable Rabbit, by the way. And this is little baby Philip, Philip the Pheasant. So the dogs are visual learners. They watch every movement that we make. They're not good at listening. So again, I tend to teach all the dogs visual cues to begin with. Once I'm confident that I've got that visual cue sorted, then and only then do I put an audible cue on board. So you're really saving your audible cue until the pista is this staunch, you can put a five pound bet down. If I say it, or if I use my whistle, that command is going to work. So what are we doing now, girls? Oh, we're doing pushbacks, are we really? These used to be my team members, and then they became my dear, dear friends. But as the years have gone on, they're a bit more like my carers. Oh, am I over here? You see? No idea where I'm going. Secret come. And which way am I going? Am I going that way? Oh, thank you so much. Is it only one that my dog doesn't really understand? Oh, dear, dear, dear. Right, OK. So pushbacks now. So we're actually going to ask the dog to go back at 12 o'clock. 
And again, slightly different from most people, I will insist my dog either goes back on its left shoulder or its right. We always want the dog to be going to 12. That's really good for the flat coat. He's only young. Good man. Oh, well done, Pogo. You know, it's all very well doing it at home in the park or the field, but you come to somewhere like this for a young dog and it's incredibly daunting. Well, forget the dogs, it's daunting for the people. So here we go with a little cocker, and he's gone back from memory now, so that's really good as well. So pop it down for the spaniel. Good. Good. So she hasn't seen that go down, typical cocker thing. So this is the distraction. So I actually don't want that. That's dead now, that's not going anywhere. I've been told that this is wounded. You must dispatch wounded or injured game first. So back she goes, come on. Not bad, because she didn't know it was there. Good girl. And she wanted Richard. Good girl. Now, if I had pushed her back with my left arm, she may have misconstrued and thought I was going to bring her down, as we did there, bring her down onto that retrieve. So by pushing her away from it with my right hand, there was no uh, doubt in her mind it was nothing to do with the left-hand side. So now we don't have a distraction on the left, we've popped one down on the right. Oh, good girl. Good girl, well done. Uh, I will tell you now, I'm not too proud. Making a noise is an eliminating fault. Uh, she swears at me because she's saying, for goodness sake, mother, just shut up and get on with it. So when she makes a noise, it's because she's frustrated with me. Sit. Uh, and I'll blame myself, not my dog. So uh, there we go. So who else have we got? We've got Brave. Has he done his? OK, off we go. Quick, quick, quick. Otherwise, we're going to be running out of time. Sally, you go for yours, please. We've got to retrieve out for Sally. That's it. Quick, quick, quick. Good, good, good. Well done. Go into the brushing. Nice stop there. Sally's saying, no, excuse me. Oh, well done, Sally. Well done. <laughs> Excellent. What the control. Nothing more that this dog wants you to go into that brushing and rip that apart and hunt in there. That's what he got in his mind. And he had to do what Sally told him to do, which was to go back. Go back to where he was told, not what he wanted to do. And that's really what gun dog work is about. Having a fast, efficient dog that trusts you but the bottom line is, you must trust your dog as well. So well done. Well done, Sal. Right, off we go. What are we doing now, girls? Lefts and right. Oh, that's exciting. Right, come on, secret. Left and right. Good. Now, I actually differentiate verbally between my lefts and my rights, uh, partly because when the dog is out of sight, you've got a 50-50 chance of getting a success. Um, but again, it goes back to what we said before, it saves on confusion, so Richard, out goes Richard, here he goes. This really should be in line with your dog, it's a little bit fraction out, but I think an inch in this case isn't going to make much difference. So that is, most important, that is in line with your dog, so it becomes a complete left to right angle. So my right hand is going to go up, so she's already aware of which way she's going to go. Yeah, well that was a cheat, wasn't it? Excuse me, young lady. She said, well, I just thought, you know, running short of time, I'd save you the bother. Come here now. Sit. Good girl. So let's try it again. Oh, we're going to make it harder now. So she thinks it's Richard. And actually, I'm going to throw out Philip. Ha, ha, ha. Sorted her now. Ha, now you've got to think. So. Right hand goes up, she believes she's going right. Now I'm going to change my mind. She's, oh, now I might go the other way. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good. Leave that one there. Just do it one more time. I could play this for hours, so I do apologize. It starts getting dark, you know, I'll still be in here playing away. Most important thing, you enjoy your dog and you enjoy learning from your dog. You think you're teaching your dog? Oh, wait. You think you're teaching your dog, but really what you should be doing is learning from your dog because they are your best teachers. People say, to, oh, sorry, girls. See, I'm getting all left behind. Oh, dear. 
A lot of people look, but they don't see. It's like riding a skateboard in a shopping precinct. You know, it's an accident just waiting to happen, isn't it, really? A lot of people say you can't use uh, positive reinforcement. I'm wandering off. I've no idea where I'm going. Positive reinforcement with proper dogs. You can't use toys and treats and with proper dogs. But actually, it's quite an art to use reward-based training. Um, and um, are we doing stop whistle? All oh, right, OK, stop whistle. Am I over here? All right, I'll go over here. Good. Um, and if used correctly, it can be incredibly powerful. Anybody who says you can't use food, toys, and positive reinforcement with proper gun dogs, well, they obviously haven't seen, hey, we've got three field trial champions in this ring. And we've got a four more at home, all being clicker trained and all use positive reinforcement. But it's got to be done correctly. Thank you. Thank you. All right, girls. Oh, so, favorite octopus coming out the bag now. Oh, goodness me. Oh, there, yes, the octopus. Vital for the stop whistle. Octopuses, of course. Whistle would help. Right, so hand signals first then, girls. Off we go. So reward must be in stop hand. It's no good having it down here if you want the dog to look at your stop hand. All our dogs love to stop. They love to stop on the whistle because it's always been reinforced with reward, but it's always been there to help them, not punish them. So what are we doing now? Voice, okay, off we go. Good, well done. Ha, <laughs> Do these dogs think they're being trained? No, of course they don't. They just think they're having a ball of a time. They just think this is a great big game. Now, whistle with twiddle. A whittle without twiddle. I think, well, let, let's twiddle. Yeah, let's technical gun dog term, twiddling and twirling. Yeah. Good. Good girl. I think we get it. Good girl. Well done. Anybody who tells you also that toys will make your dog unsteady, well, obviously not, if used correctly. And I do stress that, if used correctly. Um, it's not easy. Right, off we go, carry on walking. Oh, that was the last little peep. Uh, individually, call. Um, good. Nikki? Good. This is, I can hear all those excited dogs out there. Secret. Good girl. Well done. Nikki, reward. Sally, reward. She doesn't make the dogs unsteady, does it? Erica, reward. Secret. Yay. Good girl. Good girl. Come. Right, leave them here then, girls. Um, I might say here too that Adrian Slater is coming on later on in the day. <laughs> You're meant to say, look behind you. Have you not been to pantomime? Do you honestly think this is a serious gun dog demo? Do it again. Is it? Is it? Is it? <laughs> oh no! Is it moving? <laughs> Nearly. <laughs> I didn't move, not me. I'm Miss Goody Two Shoes, I can do no wrong. <laughs> All right, are you ready, girls? One, two, three. Good. Yeah, well done. Good. Good. Balls round. Steadiness. Throw beside, not at. Oh, beautiful. Well done. Oh, I've got, oh, I've lost my ball. Very good. Unsteady, see if you use toys, you get unsteady dogs. I don't think so. Yay, good girl. Right then, let's move on. See if we get it. Good girl. Get Molly. Ah, good girl. Come on then. Oh, 
thank you. Right, what next? Walker. Oh, we're getting into a bit of the serious stuff now. So this is, uh, you've got to have a very good imagination now, girls and boys, but this is, uh, oh, I've got to get a dog. Um, this is a simulated, action-packed walk up and drive. So for those of you who are not aware, there's two types of, um, of gun dog training. Oh, yes, well done. Or gun dog competitions and two types of way you're working your dogs. One is on a walk up basis, boys to come, which is what we're doing now. Often done sort of more north, middle and north of the country. A lot of wild game, a lot of open spaces. You can walk for hours and hours and hours on end before you even come across something. Um, and what we're teaching the dog here is to run the line, actually. So are we going ready forward, girls and boys? Off we go. So we want the dog to run the line until it hits shot scent. Mark. Once it hits shot scent, it should pull out from that gun and then take it on to the blood scent. Whoa, take the speaker out. The blood scent um, and the shot scent on the game. So again, we're not expecting our dogs to pick game scent, otherwise they'd be all running amok all over everywhere. <laughs> Forward. We we're expecting them. Mark, Mark. Chimp. Now I know he's called Monkey, but I send him on Chimp. It's a long story, don't worry about it. <whistles> he's a good man. He's a good boy. Very nice. And he gets a sweetie, because I'm not proud. Well done, good lad. Good point. Right, and um, we've got two scenes. Oh, this is a good gun. Yeah, he's got that. Yeah, bang. Good imagination, virtual reality training. Bang, and another one out to the other side. Oh, that's another bang. But, oh, sorry. So the gun is saying that he's shot behind and he believes it is not dead. So, sorry, they're asleep. They're not going anywhere. We can pick those by hand. Vital that we picked this. Yes. Oh, brilliant. Before it ran into those bushes and got itself into trouble and out of sight. So well done. The dog saw these. Ignore those. Oh, and very good for those of you who know about dog swapping. Again, Cardinal Sin. Bags could have quite easily swapped on those dummies. Did he? Did he, Nelly? Bad. Ooh, skiddy, skiddy. Skiddy. Woo. Good. Good. Whoa. Now, not being biased here, I'm sending Boise Bonkers out, but we've had quite a few Goldies go out. Um, and they are the love of my life, really, my Goldies, monkey come. So although I do compete with uh, labs, uh, we have lots of Goldens at home. They are my best picking up dogs. Chim <laughs> Just if you need that consistency and you need that um, real fitability and slightly mechanicalism, then your labbies are probably more what you're looking for. But if you want to have your party goer with you and unpredictability and make you look a bit of an arse, oh, so I'm not allowed to say that, uh, from time to time, then get a goldie. Very rewarding. Right, so that's our little walk up scenario. Oh, 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 she nicked me bits. Boys, come, thank you. So now we're going into a drive situation. So this is where the guns are static. Normally in the, in the walk up, they would be with us, walking with us in line, or in effect, we would be walking with them. Now we're way back from the guns. The guns have been stood in front of us. The beaters have done the most beautiful job. Oh, that's a nice dog up there. Oh, look, hello. Um, the beaters have done a very nice job. They brought all the birds forward. The guns are stood down in the dip in front of us. We're stood way back, end of the drive. And again, we've been told there's quite a lot of dead game about. This is where you need the control. We don't need the dead game being picked. We need the ones that are suspect. So we're going to pop them out here. That's it. Oh, now the gun's just saying, excuse me, wrong bush. So well done. Let's try it. Boys, get over. Thank you. Good. Let him sit there. So I've been told, I think it's not in that bush. It might be in the other bush, but I'm just having a little chat. There we go. 
Come on, come on, good lad. Good. Good. Good boys, come on then. So this is where you're seeing all the lefts and the rights and the backs and the stops and all of our previous little exercises. This Goldie's not two yet, you know. Um, he's already one out of novice. And uh, he's showing in tremendous potential. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Chimp, get over. Chimp, get over. Chimp, get over. Grab it. Good lad, good boy. Get on. Get on. Chimp, get on. Good boy. So there was that little rabbit. I don't know if you saw it. Obviously not, because there's no round of applause. But there was a rabbit that ran out in front of him. And he ignored the rabbit because it hadn't been shot. Well, it's shot now. It's dead now. It hadn't been shot. And I said, no, I don't want that. I want that injured game out of that rushing. And he went, OK, Mum, I can do that. That's no problem at all. All right, so just pop bunkers out from on my tight. Uh, boys, get, out, get over. Get in there. Get in there. Chimp, get out, get over. Get on. Good lad. Boys. Chimp, get on. Boys, see? Good. So when I'm out, we've probably got six or eight dogs that I'm working at any one time. Some might take have a rest in the drive. Some might be working all the time, depending on what's what. But they all need to work independently of each other, and it's quite a military operation. Right, shall I be very stupid and not very brave? Well, I think very brave. Let's pop the spaniel on. Anything could happen, and it will. It's an accident waiting to happen, but I'm not. Oh. Yeah, all right, let's go for the rabbit. Oh, my time. Oh, it's off already. Oh, secret, secret. Get on. Get on. Get in there. Get in there. She always wants to... When I put her on the stop whistle, hello, she always wants to be able to see me. I'm here, yeah. Get on. Good girl. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Yay! Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Get in. Get over. Get over. Get over. Secret. Hello, I'm here. Get on. Good girl, get on. Do the rabbit, no, do the rabbit, do the rabbit. Rabbit. Get on. See what I mean? Get on. Get on. <laughs> get on. Get on. Lovely. Well, I think we're going to call that a day now, everybody. We're just going to leave the gang here. So, as you can see, the dogs are fit for purpose. They pick up all winter long. They do agility and fly ball. Oops, shouldn't say that, because, of course, proper gun dogs shouldn't do agility and fly ball. They do that all summer, and they are doing what they're bred to do. And we're very, very proud of that fact. So go on out there, enjoy your dogs, have fun. See you again. I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, you have seen a master of her art. There is no doubt about that. Give uh, Philippa Williams and all her team a massive round of applause. Come on, that was brilliant.
That was fantastic. If you want to learn more about Gundogs, it is, of course, Gundog Day at uh, Cross 2012. Well, Philippa is up on the dog activities uh, stand up in Hall 3A, along with the heel work, the obedience, 